You're not really a doctor. What's that? They'll kill you. Tyler. Yeah. Any sign of him? Nothing, not a word. We'll start with his room. My wife's got some coffee on. Make it rather than me. See what happened to Terry. What time was it again when he went out? Just before closing. Was he alone? Yeah.
You looking for someone? Jack London. Yeah, it uh, left about an hour ago. Trying out some new engine part. Who was on board? Did you see? Skipper and a uh, couple of deckies. Cheers. I'll catch him later. Where the hell have you been? I'll tell you later. Didn't tell me the law was after you. Law? An inspector named Brooke. You all right? Did you know Ramsey's wife? No. She died before we met. My dad thought he'd never, ever recover. Even two years later, it wasn't good. Had to be rebuilt like, like you rebuild a house. You? With some friends. Otherwise, he'd have followed the wife. You're pretty depressing to be with, you know that. Why so? Because you always look so good. You're always wearing something by Gucci or Poochie or Smoochie. Have to dress. Might as well dress well. <laughs> Ramsey gets back. Drive to Rouen. Take you on the shops. Why do we always bring that town? Ramsey's idea. Shall I earn my class now? If you must. <laughs> Can I talk to him? Go easy, Dad. Why? Well, there could be some residual shock. Oh, there will be. Depends on it. OK. Uh, Painkillers from the dispensary. You've got the prescription. Yeah, I won't forget. OK. What happened? Someone stabbed me with a boat hook. Hurt? Hmm. Like hell. Good. Should have been through your windpipe. Can I dress? You can shut up and listen. You're a Burke, Ramsay. A bloody menace. A one-man disaster area. Is that it? No, that is not it. We said goodbye, didn't we? You did. The transport calf, remember? Little wave, the lump in the throat, the damp hanky. I thought you were pissing off. Well, don't blame me for what you were thinking. I told you. Knight errantry went out with... with a Clapham omnibus. Now, what the hell are you doing? Somebody tries to smear me across the countryside. Somebody else takes pot shots at me. You leave it to the police. Hold on. I've been pretty useful to you. Once. More than once? Before. As in once long long ago and what's changed i'll tell you they know who you are where to find you that's what's changed they're killers cross them and they'll cross you out point taken well, how was i to know you weren't well, you should have told me. Told you? You are mad. What do you expect? Pop in the yard, have a quick whiz through the files, attend AC's crime briefings? You, single-handed, have jeopardised a year's work, men's lives, thousands of pounds worth of painstaking investigation. We don't want Fleetwood. You don't? No. We want Fleetwood, France, and the rest. We want to unravel the coke run all the way back to Colombia. And you could have blown it. May well have done. I'm sorry. Pardon? I'm sorry. Doesn't sound enough, does it? 
Have you finished, Ian? I'll collect some pills. Tell you what I'll do. I'll take you to a plane, myself. Fly back to London with you, myself. Put you on another plane to France, myself. Get the message? he called oh yes he's arriving at car this afternoon at three o'clock he wants us to meet him three yes can you go of course I have a hair appointment no problem well I could cancel no it. honestly it's not necessary really what's this see you old French saying les petits cadeaux entretiennent l'amitié Entretien, what's that? Oh, uh, cement. See, you'll fix. Little gifts, seal of friendship. Who was it said, physician, heal thyself? It's in the Bible. One of the Gospels. That's why I didn't know him. He used to be a top anaesthetist. It seems a long time ago. Why did you quit? I prefer to be able to talk to my patients. Have them talk back to me. You have my number. I'll come over one day, show you how to fish. You're on. Listen, forget it. I don't know who's worse, you or the dog. What happened to you? That was a little accident. It was nothing. Must have been like this when Napoleon kissed Josephine. Yeah, I mean, she didn't talk. How do you know? History books. She was a strong, silent type, our Joe. I missed you. Home is the sailor, home from sea. Where's Tess? Will you tell me? She came to meet you. No. No, nobody. I was desolate, that's why I took the taxi. She's such a dreamless girl. I bet she went to the wrong place. Well, how was she getting there? In your car. In my beautiful Citroën. <laughs> Would you like a sandwich? Time you've eaten it, she'll be back. Oh, that'll be her. Can she change the wheel? Can you? I can look very helpless.
Was it her? No, nobody there. Anything interesting? Yeah. Merely ads from drug companies. I called La Marais. And? Haven't seen her. Well, I'm getting worried. Let me call the police. See if they've been in the accidents. It's two hours. More. What do you think? Let's go to your place. Look around. Okay. Uh, is there some tame flick we can talk to? Your chief superintendent. He and his wife have been here to dinner. Be discreet. Well, she didn't take the car. That's for sure. She's a dreamer. Not so much so that she forgets the car. Doesn't even show up at the airport. No. Flowers doing here? Oh, it's Tess. She's been down most days. She's got a crush on you. Rubbish. Did you get on well? Yes. Well, I thought you didn't like kids. <laughs> so what now? Find Marcel. Find Marcel. You want a lobster? No, not today. He hasn't seen her since this morning. We all went riding together. Truth, not you again. I'm sorry to bother you so soon. Tessa. You know what I mean? White's daughter. She's gone missing. What does that mean? Well, she was due to meet my plane. It was all arranged. And she didn't show. And when was this? It's three and a half hours. Yeah, uh, well, it's not that long. No, I realize that. Have you checked with the local hospital? Yes. But don't say I didn't warn you. Well, now I'm doing the warning. About what? So as I put this phone down while calling the French police, they'll ask questions. I shall have to give answers. What police station would this be? I want to know what station. Bayeux. Chief Superintendent Durand, Jacques Durand. Uh, it's uh, Bayeux. That's in the Department of Calvados. Calvados, as in the drink? The, the, the cop there's a chief super named Durand. D-U-R-A-N-D. What was it, T? T for tango? As in doctor. Jack Durand, okay. Durand, got it. Now, Ramsey, this is important. You must give me an hour. Says he needs an hour. No, we're not impressed. I can make things easier for you, believe me. One hour won't make a scrap of difference. Convince me. Three hours. It takes two minutes to kill her. She's either dead or that's not what they're after. Simple as that. I know how their minds work. 
So do I. I saw some of their handiwork in Derbyshire. Trust me. All right. You have one hour. What's he say? He says one hour won't make any difference. You went to England a doctor. You've come back what? What do you call yourself? I had no idea it would follow me. It's so cruel, it's so unfair. If you can't protect her, can't look after her, you shouldn't have involved her. Well, I didn't realize. What's next? Who's next? You want Marcel to move in? Who are these people? I don't know. Drug smugglers. They that powerful? Oh, yes. So what did you have to say? He wasn't there. We spoke on the phone. Not much he can do tonight. Well, he asked me to leave a photograph and we meet in his office 9.30 tomorrow. I forgot French police only work half a day. 48 hours ago I was here with her. That day. I wonder what they've done with her. You seem sure it's them. Well, it has to be. Could be a kidnap. No ransom note. Well, first they make you suffer, soften you I up. I know by now that you'd have gone to the police now. No, it's them. Now tell me about your shoulder. Someone stuck a boat hook in it. Accident. Okay. What do you do in this country to get a decent coffee? Brooke. Ah, wish I could think of clever things like that. When did you get here? An hour ago. What is this contraption? I I'll show you. 
burned my hand and spilt grey sludge all down the desk. You must have seen coffee filters before. Did you sell them at home? Coffee comes in jars. Two spoons strong, one spoon weak, right? You like it black? Of course not. White and sweet. Look at it. Bloody egg cup for me. Well, what's happened to Durand? Oh, uh, he's, uh, he's not here yet. He's checking something on the computer. I don't know your friend. Oh, Danny, this is uh, Detective Inspector Brooke from London. Madame Danielle Faison. Danny. Enchanté, madame. Oh, you speak French. Fluently. Alas, that was it. Oh. I thought I'd get out of the way. Oh, Jacques, vous ne connaissez pas le Dr. Ramsey? Excusez mon bras. Enchanté. I think, um, for Mr. Brooke's benefit, we should speak English. Well, as you say, shall we sit down? Coffee for anyone? Oh, Inspector, you don't seem keen on our coffee. It's a bit strong for this early in the morning. Looks like mud from the Seine. Business. We have an old unit out for Miss White, what you call an EPB. That means every policeman in Normandy, before he goes on duty, is shown a photo, given her details, etc. There's nothing so far? No, then it's still early. Having discussed this with Inspector Brooke, I recommend that you go both home, that you sit by your telephones, and that you wait. These people have taken her. Is it the, uh, the English side or the French? There's no way of knowing. Can I ask a question? Of course. Tessa, the girl, she's young. She's attractive. What'll be happening to her? I won't worry. You're not me. I do worry. These people are top-level professional villains. And they're all paralyzed from the waist down. They won't jeopardize a multi-million pound operation for the sake of a Lego. For that. With respect, I think you're naive. Yes, so do I. Crooks, drug smugglers, uh, rapists. They don't imagine they'll ever get caught. All right, three months pass. Still waiting, still by our phones, still haven't heard. No one suggests you wait that long. Well, so how long do we wait? Two weeks? I'd say two. You obviously don't agree, madame. You're the experts. Sit by the phone. Do this, do that, do nothing. Don't call the girl's mother. Playing God. Doesn't it worry you? No job for a modest man, is it? What's that? It means draft. It's not a brand name. No, no, no. It's whatever the barman's pumping up from his cellar. Gassy, but I drunk worse. You want another? Wouldn't say no. I'm calling you. So what do you make of that? The Chief Super. Mm. Like his aftershave. Strikes me as a bit of a cut glass copper. There's been some times he's had his toe cap up some tear away his arse. Mm, if ever. You really believe they're not taking turns raping her? Yes. For your ears only. The drug squad's here and ours at home are mounting a joint op. Top level. Fleetwood, Brest, various points in between. If we do it while well, I've got the white girl, I'll kill her. So as we get the word, she's free. Mm. What is it now? Well, they've taken her once. What's to stop them taking her again? They won't be around. When you go back, something. Can I drive you anywhere? 
I still can. Just a moment. No. It's all been taken care of. Jack the lad's buying me lunch. Yeah. What are wheat? Oysters. No. Yes. Hello? Tess? Ça va Ça va, je l'ai couché. Est-ce qu'il était parti Non, je sais rien. Qu'est-ce que c'est Le ruine, je crains. I gave up counting every few hours. In ten, twenty? I have no idea. More. I had such dreams. Nightmares. They're terrifying. Where did they take you? I have no idea. Two hours, more. English speaking or French? 
French. But they knew some English. Should I call Durand? Please, make sure he tells Brooke. Huh? It's vital. I'd be all right. Of course. We'll beat it. A man and a woman in a car. Mm. They had a map. They called me over. There's someone beside, behind me. Someone I, I hadn't seen. Who bundled me into a car. Tess. Tess. I don't remember anymore. It's all right. It's all right. What about Durand? He'll talk to him when she's feeling better. Whenever that is. Can you treat her? Milder drugs, gradually reducing the dose. Can't be as easy as that. Well, I didn't say it was easy. Do you remember that, uh, that Israeli sailor with malaria? Yeah. It's a bit like that. It's a super-sized flu bug. Can I uh, make a suggestion? Until this is over, go to the flat. Paris. Be a good idea till they're rounded up behind bars. And they are. They'll call me. Straight away. You and I, we seem. Oh, I, I don't know be drifting. And I think that's true. It was a bad day when you went to England. Right. Uh, was it heroin? Going to my friendly pharmacist. And am I hooked? Of course not. Not even talk like that. You will be honest with me, won't you? Always. If I'm going to be a junkie for the rest of my life... Now, Tess, stop that right now. OK? We are just going to replace that drug with something less noxious. Methadone. Yeah. I'm scared. Of course you are. Now, we'll start with 20 milligrams. That's four of these teaspoons. About every 12 hours. Then, in a, in a few days, depending how it goes, we'll reduce to 10 milligrams. And a few days later, to five, et cetera, et cetera. And how am I going to feel? Rough. But there's no need to worry. There are things I can give you to help. Now, it's not going to be as bad as you think. You're just someone with a nasty dose of flu coming up. Nothing worse than that? No. How long? About a week. It'll reach its peak in 72 hours. <coughs> I'll leave this here. Take this. Oh, God, I feel like I'm dying. Do you want me to warm you up? No, don't touch me. Decent. 
Well, I am your patient, aren't I? I'll warn you. There's a randy phase coming up. Promises, promises. Spontaneous orgasms. Good works. I can't wait. I'm going out to get some food, OK? Oh, get some chocolate, too. Lots of it. Be back in about 20 minutes. This place. Oh, it's an old fort. What happened to it? Well, it hasn't been used since the war. Go back, go on. <laughs> Except for the, the rabbits. Why don't you explore? Collect all the wood you can find. I'll, uh, I'll go and help myself. Sounds. Uh, normal everyday sounds. Everyday city sounds, everyday country sounds. Um, Ramsey, I feel sick and I'm tired. I know, just give me one specific sound. Uh, relentless, aren't you? Come on, just one. Um, hens. Did I say hens? And, uh, and a cockerel too every morning. So it wasn't the centre of Paris. <sighs> you got the abdabs. And the sweats and the trots and the cramps. I'll give you some Lomatil. Great! Lomatil for this, Valium for that. <laughs> How long are we going to stay here? As long as it takes. Why here? Because no one can get at you and... And? And vice versa. Don't you trust me? Not until we've licked this, no. Don't forget your medicine. Oh, shove the medicine!
Oh, bravo, Gabin. Bravo. Mange, mange. Ramsey? Ramsey? You lost something. Bastard, you still don't trust me. I wasn't wrong, was I? But you don't understand. You can't. So tell me. I ache. I ache from the ends of my hair to my toenails. When I'm not sweating, I'm freezing. When I'm not freezing, I'm sweating. I feel sick. I've got stomach cramps. The clothes on my back hurt me. They hurt. I feel like a peeled egg. I don't love until Valley more breakfast. You're a sadist, Ramsay. You're a bloody sadist. Ten milligrams of methadone at tea time. I can't wait. You can. I can't. Now give me some now. I mean it. <laughs> Honestly, I do. 